President Joe Biden honored outgoing Joint Chiefs of Staff Chairman Mark Milley at a ceremony Friday where the nation's highest-ranking military officer handed the reins to his successor, General Charles Q. Brown J.R.B. The program, filled with pomp and circumstance, included Milley swearing in Brown as the 21st Chairman. Brown previously served as the Air Force Chief of Staff. Biden topped his remarks with a tribute to Senral. Diane Feinstein, de California, whose office confirmed on Friday that she died at the age of 90. She was a historic figure, trailblazer for women, and a great friend. Diane made her mark on everything from national security to the environment, gun safety to protecting civil liberties, Biden said. The country is going to miss her dearly, and so will Jill and I. Biden added that he would have more to say on the late California senator later Friday. The president also addressed the looming government shutdown, saying that if the House fails to fund the government, it would be failing troops who would continue to show up for work despite not getting paid. It's a disgrace, he said, adding that the longer a shutdown lasts, the harder it becomes for military families to pay their bills. You can't be playing politics when our troops stand in the breach, Biden said. It's an absolute dereliction of duty. Vice President Kamala Harris and Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin also attended the Armed Forces' farewell tribute to Milley. General Milley is a scholar and a warrior, Austin said. We respect him for his wit, but we love him for his heart. And he's thrown his whole heart into leading this tremendous joint force of soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, guardians. Milley was presented with his retirement certification, capping a more than four-decade career that included positions as Army Chief of Staff and Commanding General of the U.S. Army Forces Command.